Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to do the MIDI stuff that I was doing with my maps. It's a little bit complicated here, but I'll go ahead and delete these and pull apart one of them to show you what it looks like on the inside. Let's see how I have everything lined up. That's my map stuff over there. Everything loops together very nicely. The use of timers and relays and whatnot. So I'm just going to pull this apart. So you can kind of see what the see what's under the hood. Alright, now I'm going to make one from scratch just to uh, kind of show you how you should set it up. So you're going to want to place 2D speaker and grab yourself a timer. And you're going to want to link the two so when the timer is finished it's going to play that sound. You can change the volume and the pitch in this the little play bubble by pressing uh, triangle or Y or whatever the button is for the system that you're on. Changing the pitch does change the speed a little bit. I mean, choose whatever sound you want. I'm going to go in and I'm going to make this a little bit high and then you know increase the volume and then this timer is going to be set to zero and you're going to have it show on HUD false otherwise you're going to have a ton of shit on the screen that you don't want I'm going to copy and paste this a couple times and depending on you know, how fast you want your song is how fast you time each one. Because if you do play the next sound when the other one is done, then it won't sound correct. It'll play it probably about two to three seconds af after that sound has started. It's a little bit complicated, but this is the best way that I've found to do this. And you can of course loop your loop your stuff pretty easily. You can choose whatever sound you want, whatever volume, whatever pitch. But yeah. Eventually, you know, you just have to work on it and figure out something with the timing. And the best thing that I can recommend is have it have instead of it do on play on map start, you can have it run on player input. And you can make that player input X if you use use interact uh, one. Or not use interact. Um, get or player input one. And yep, that's what it should look like in the end. Thanks for watching.